Hello, I'm Mr. Kolash, and this is our 10th grade world history course. Um, if you have not been in one of my classes before, most of you have not. Um, I wanted to just start by saying welcome. I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm excited for the school year to get moving, and hopefully I will be seeing a lot of you in person, and I know I'll be seeing you uh, remotely a little bit as well. Um, so a few things, uh, just a quick reminder before we get started. Um, don't forget about our regular P-TECH classroom uh, expectations that we have that you guys know. Um, if you're new to P-TECH at this point, uh, the big things are uh, to be ready to go, and we're going to cover over what those things are like here in our presentation. So let's get started. Uh, for your in-person learning, as we get started in world history this year, when you're here in school, make sure you got everything you need with you. Um, enter class, get out what you need for your bell work, and you guys will know where to find that bell work every day. Um, you want to silently begin that bell work, um, get it done as quick as you can, get your homework written down so you know what you're going to need to be doing at home, following all the instructions that I give you, uh, raising your hand, being respectful, all that stuff that I know you guys can do that I've seen. Those of you who have been at PTEC before, I've seen you uh, do all these things in other classes and in the halls and stuff, and a few of you in my class. So, um, Looking forward to that going very well. And at the end of class, a couple things are going to probably be different this year. Um, there are going to be things we need to do around the room to get ready for the next class. There are going to be things that you might do that are a little bit different uh, to get ready to go to your next class. So make sure you follow all of my instructions before you guys uh, take off and get out of class. Um, and make sure you take care to clean up around your area for sure. So that's in person. Um, now this year is going to be a little bit different, and so there will be portions uh, where you are remote learning. And if you're on one of your uh, remote learning days, let me get my little box moved here for you. Um, make sure you do a couple things. Uh, keep in mind a few tips to make it smoother for you. Um, when you're logging in, make sure you are ready to go for class. Uh, so use the restroom, get your supplies, the things you need for class, get your uh, water bottle, whatever it is, before logging on. Uh, so plan for when that class is going to start. When you uh, join your video chat, if you're coming in on Zoom, make sure you mute your microphone. Um, get anything out you might need for the work and get started on that bell work. Um, you can stay muted until I give you instructions otherwise. Uh, and make sure you write down your homework. I will have that posted for you to be able to see in Zoom when you log on. Uh, then once class does start, make sure you follow all instructions. Click the raise hand button when you are remote learning so that you, uh, I can see that you want to say something and then you can unmute at that point once I call on you. Um, participate in all the group stuff going on, even if you're muted. Uh, you don't necessarily uh, need to still just sit there and ignore what's happening. You definitely are going to want to write down uh, any group things I'm asking you to do or whatever, and I will go over what that's going to look like as we move forward. Sometimes you might just write an answer and hold it up to your camera or something like that. Um, follow all my instructions again before putting your stuff away or before exiting the stream. That's going to be a big one. Uh, make sure you don't leave early, but that you leave when I give you that opportunity. A few things that you will need for class. Uh, make sure you got a place to take notes, obviously. You are going to be issued a book, um, and so bring that book with you when you've got that class, uh, this history class here in person, but also have that book with you at home because you will need it there too. Um, place to take notes, like I said, a pen or pencil to take notes with, and then logging into Infinite Campus is going to be crucial every day. Uh, we are actually using Infinite Campus this year for turning in work, for getting new assignments, but then the nice part is you can just check your grade and how you did real easily on there. Um, so it's going to, I think, work out a lot better, but we'll go over in much more detail how to use that soon. Just make sure you have a way to access it. And when you're here in class, you might need a laptop with you. Um, we will provide the Chromebooks for you to do that, to turn in work and all that, uh, while you're here in the building. Uh, so you might want to make sure that you've got that as well. Finally, with the grading, uh, this is a history class, and so you're going to have 50% of your grade being tests and quizzes. Uh, writing is 20%, employability is 10, homework is 10, and the final is 10%. Um, and then you guys are probably aware of your different percentages for your grades. Uh, finally, last thing, a few of the topics we're going to hit on. We're going to start with exploration, um, go through some international trends, see what was going on around the whole world historically around that time when exploration started from Europe. 
um, look at some different revolutions and innovations that have happened. Uh, so it's a good time. Really enjoyed this class. Looking forward to uh, hanging out with you guys and getting to know you better, um, whether that is uh, an in-person day or a remote learning day. Uh, so again, I'm Mr. Kolash. You can email me with any questions at ryan.kolash at jamesroman.org. Um, and you can find that email address pretty uh, easily uh, in the description of this video. Hope you guys have a great end to your summer, and I can't wait to get started. Talk to you soon.